Murray Valley encephalitis MVE virus in a mosquito in Menindee. Communities across New South Wales are encouraged to take measures to protect themselves against mosquito bites following the detection of Murray Valley encephalitis MVE virus in a mosquito in Menindee. MVE virus is spread by mosquitoes from infected animals to humans. Rarely, it causes severe neurological illness with headache, convulsions and reduced consciousness in some cases. The virus cannot be transmitted between humans, and people cannot get the virus by touching an infected animal or eating animal products. The primary hosts of MVE virus are waterbirds such as herons and egrets. Detection of MVE is likely related to recent rainfall and flooding. Locally acquired cases of MVE were last identified in New South Wales in 2011. Executive Director of Health Protection New South Wales, Dr. Richard Broom said most people who are infected with the virus that causes MVE do not have any symptoms. Only a small proportion of people infected with the virus will experience symptoms, which include fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, diarrhea, and muscle aches. Among those who get a severe infection, some may die or have lifelong neurological complications, Dr. Broom said. There is no vaccination or specific treatment for MVE and the best way to avoid infection is to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes, which are most active between dusk and dawn. Avoiding mosquito bites will also protect against other mosquito-borne infections including Japanese encephalitis, Ross River fever and Barmer forest virus. People in New South Wales are urged to take actions to prevent mosquito bites to protect against all mosquito-borne viruses. Protect yourself and your family by Covering openings such as windows and doors with insect screens and checking there are no have gaps in them. Removing items that might collect water, such as old tires, empty pots outside your house where mosquitoes can breed. Improving drainage on your property so that water does not become stagnant. Wearing light, loose-fitting long-sleeved shirts, long pants and covered footwear and socks, especially around dusk and dawn. Applying repellent to all areas of exposed skin, using repellents that contain DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus. Reapplying repellent regularly, particularly after swimming, being sure to always apply sunscreen first and then apply repellent. Using insecticide sprays, vapor dispensing units and mosquito coils to repel mosquitoes, mosquito coils should only be used outside. For further information and ways to protect yourself link will be posted on description. What is Murray Valley encephalitis? Murray Valley encephalitis MVE, is a rare disease caused by the Murray Valley encephalitis virus. It is spread to humans by infected mosquitoes. What are the symptoms of Murray Valley encephalitis? Most people who are infected with the virus that causes Murray Valley encephalitis do not have any symptoms, only a small proportion of infected people may get symptoms, and these may include Fever Headache Nausea Vomiting
Loss of appetite Diarrhea Muscle aches Rarely, the MVE virus can cause a severe brain infection known as encephalitis. The danger signs of Murray Valley encephalitis include the following symptoms. Severe headache Neck stiffness Sensitivity to bright lights photophobia. Drowsiness and confusion Coma Seizures Loss of consciousness Among those who get a severe infection, some may have lifelong neurological complications or even death. If you get these symptoms, contact a doctor right away, or Health Direct on 1-800-022-222 or in an emergency call 000 or visit your nearest emergency department. How is the Murray Valley encephalitis virus spread? It is spread when a mosquito bites an animal, horses, kangaroos and non-water birds that has the Murray Valley encephalitis virus and then this mosquito bites a human. This mosquito is common around the Murray-Darling River basin areas in New South Wales during summer. People are not able to give the virus to other people. People cannot get the virus by touching an infected animal or eating animal products. People with MVE infection develop long-lasting immunity that is likely lifelong. Who has a higher chance of getting the Murray Valley encephalitis virus? Those who are more likely to get Murray Valley encephalitis virus infection are people who live or spend time west of the Great Dividing Range, especially around wetlands or rivers. If they spend a lot of time outside e.g., camping, fishing, hiking, gardening. How do I avoid the Murray Valley encephalitis virus? There is currently no vaccine against Murray Valley encephalitis. The best way to avoid Murray Valley encephalitis is to not get bitten by mosquitoes. Protect yourself. Use insect repellent. The best mosquito repellents have diethyltoluamide, DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus. Wear long, loose-fitting and light-colored clothing and covered shoes when outside. Do not spend lots of time outside at dawn and dusk when mosquitoes are most active. Cover all windows, doors, vents, and other entranced with insect screens. Remove any containers that hold water where mosquitoes may breed. Use insecticide sprays, vapor dispensing units inside, and mosquito coils outdoors to clear rooms and repel mosquitoes from an area. Use mosquito nets or screens. How do I know if I have Murray Valley encephalitis?
If you have the symptoms listed above a doctor may run a test to detect a virus or measure levels of antibodies to Murray Valley encephalitis in samples of blood or spinal fluid. How is Murray Valley encephalitis treated? There is no specific treatment available for Murray Valley encephalitis. People with symptoms often need hospital support and sometimes intensive care. What is the public health response? Laboratories diagnosing cases of Murray Valley encephalitis must notify the local public health unit. Once the infection is confirmed, public health unit staff will collect detailed information about where the person has recently traveled and where they are likely to have been exposed to infected mosquitoes. The main public health response is to give people advice on how to avoid mosquito bites. For more information please call your local public health unit on 1-300-066-055. Visit the Mosquito-Borne Diseases section of the New South Wales Health website. Link will be posted on description.